Hey guys, welcome back to Motorcycle Maintenance Channel. On this episode, we're going to show you how to flush the radiator on this 06 Honda CBR 1000. So, I'm going to do that and open this. There we go. Now we'll drain the radiator fluid from the water pump. If you're going to drain the radiator fluid, um, the way the book says, we're going to pull this out. And when we put that bolt back into the water pump, we need to replace it with a fresh sealing washer. On Honda, it's 9046-3-ML7-000. It's just a crushed copper washer. Um, you don't have to do that. You could just take the hoses off um, right here and right here and drain it that way. You can see our R6 video. We're going to go ahead and do it this way since I do have the washer on hand and we'll just charge it to the uh, customer. And I just, there's just no real good way to do this to not make a mess. Oh, he's a messy job. This fluid actually looks like it's in pretty good shape. And there it goes. If you notice, the old ceiling washer is actually still stuck on the water pump. Um, I'm going to pull that off because you don't want to double up on those washers. I'll wait till it stops draining. fluid out of the bike we're going to find our little drain hole on the water pump take our distilled water and pour it in to where the radiator cap goes and we're just going to hold that there and kind of just rinse it out a little bit with distilled water this is the flush part of your radiator change we're going to flush it if you will All right, now I'm gonna let loose over here and it's just gonna drain off into the bucket and you can see all the old green stuff still coming out. Goes in clear, comes out green. So we'll do this a few times just to get all the old fluid out. It's an interesting noise. <laughs> Let it come out again. And it's getting a little clearer now. Oh, there's some green. <laughs> Okay. 
again. And you can repeat these steps, these little flush steps, as many times as you like. If you want to wait till the water, till when it comes out crystal clear after you pour it in, you can do that. You probably use 10 gallons of distilled water, but you can do it. See, coming out. It's getting clear. I don't think you really need to be that anal with it, but I mean, I remember when it was my first bike. I was. <laughs> I haven't went as far as to remove the radiator, the radiator, fill it up independently, swish it around, and take it off. And you can do that, because honestly, this bike has 12,000 miles on it. And another 4,000 miles, the radiator does need to be removed. So that you can check the valve clearance. Look, it's coming out pretty clear. That's pretty good. Kind of shake it a little. There we go. Now we're gonna put now we're gonna put our screw back on there with a new ceiling washer and fill it up with radiator fluid. And the ceiling washer part number is 90463 ML7-000. I think it's a 6.5 or 6 millimeter copper washer. Oh, it still wants to come out a little. Give it a little squeeze. There we go. Kind of squeeze the hoses, force it out. Now, if you don't want to buy the ceiling washer or it's going to take, you know, weeks for it to get to you in the mail, because sometimes that happens, you can just disconnect these hoses here and drain it all out that way. It's just as effective. However, when you go to flush it, it's hard to do the one finger trick. You have to block up the hoses. And you can see how we did that on our R6 video. I like doing the hoses because you see they store a lot of water in there to get them completely dry. All right. Now I'm going to go get the torque specs and we'll tighten this up. Okay. So we got our, our bolt back here to the water pump. We're going to tight. We're going to tighten it at 12 Newton meters because that's what the book says. Twelve newton meters is not a lot of force. So. Part of me wants to go more, but that's what the book says. We have our Prestone 5050 solution here. And green antifreeze came out, so we're going to put green antifreeze back in. And just so you guys know. I know some of our co commenters found out antifreeze tastes sweet and it smells sweet and animals will like to drink it but it will kill them so don't let your animals drink antifreeze Put our res we're going to fill our reservoir now to the max, just a little over max. And if you don't feel comfortable going over the max line, max is fine. I like to go it a little bit over because I know it's going to suck it through. So and then it'll be at the max. bubbles will continue to come out and you're going to fill it all the way up till it's at the top but you're not done 
It's just because it's at the do top doesn't mean we're done because we still got to burp it. We got to make sure all the bubbles come out. If not, it'll overheat. So, got that in there. I'm going to just squeeze the hose over here, massage it a little bit, kind of get some of the bubbles out of the hose. But what's really going to move the, the antifreeze through and get the bubbles out is getting the water pump to kick over and turn on. So, start this bad boy up. Start her up. like there's too many bubbles in it because it's kind of already spitting radiator fluid back out at us. Which is odd because a lot of times there are a lot of bubbles if you watch our other videos. But I think we got most of them out. This is a messy job. Oh, that was a big bubble right there. Alright, so we're off there and we're gonna let it heat up and make sure it doesn't overheat because if it over starts to overheat that means there's a bubble in it and that's okay if there's a bubble we're not gonna freak out and it starts overheating we're just gonna turn it off and let it sit if we freak out turn it off and pop this off we're gonna get hit in the face with a bunch of radiator fluid it's not good 
So we're just gonna let it sit and then see it. We'll watch it suck out water from the reservoir. are doing good though. 140. Huh? Are they? No, they're the stock. Well, no, it looks like they're just stock bolts. You can make them get them. I kind of wish he would have gotten a beefier horn. up at 222. He might have an air bubble in there. Two seventeen. No, it's going back down. All right, guys, we flushed the radiator on the CBR 1000. We drained all of it. We flushed it out with some distilled water and we put some 50-50 radiator coolant back inside it. So it's ready to go. Stay out of the grease, everybody.